a very quick look at the data that was returned remember initially it was this way but if we click on this um, the very first thing is that um, the status is through the verification it went successfully and then there is a whole bunch of data that returned like the ID the domain you see this is a test if it was live you will see it it's his status it was successful reference here's the reference there's an amount remember in Kobo 360,000 Kobo and then there's no message you know we didn't pass any message um, from the the show the form we didn't pass any message show fields I think it's at the bottom um, it's in QR codes show fields all right uh, we didn't pass no message and if you're back here you will see the date that was paid you see even the time zone and this is the, the date it was created this was when the date was uh, it was created by uh, trade 32 then paid uh, three minutes later see the channel tells me that it's a card or cash transaction tells me it's a card then currency Nigerian Naira this is NGN Nigerian Naira in your own case might be US or whatever uh, IP address this IP address that was used to make the payment there's a whole bunch of stuff for instance there's log how many attempts uh, before the user was successful maybe they tried their card several times um, time spent uh, roughly um, 204 that's about three minutes or so or four, four minutes then um, errors whether it was made from mobile so if somebody scanned the QR code and was trying to make the payment from their mobile app paystack would tell us this is just amazing then there's a history field these fields card number card expiry so it knows the exact fields I filled up it just collects information about everything attempted to pay successfully paid so it tracks the whole process of the payment you understand you fill a field paystack tracks it and saves you attempt to pay payment goes successfully tracks it pay page and then there is um, the whole authorization stuff there's all these details and the whole lot and you know this is a test 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 and the whole sub accounting is that you can split your payment let's say your merchant we're not uh, it's beyond the scope of this um uh, pay the, this um tutorial but um you should know that you can split the payment so um for instance if we use this what will happen is that part of the payment will go to the person that created the qr code and part will go to we that own the platform in one go we don't have to write any code for that so you can do that and um, a whole lot of things so the thing is that um, we need to save all these data so eventually we'll have to create a field on our database that will dump all these data but then we need to extract just what we need to go ahead all right we need to extract remember we did some metadata and we we're supposed to pass something look at key name and value um, if we come here we see that there is metadata you see and then we just had key name and value these two things don't mean anything but if we wanted to pass the users details we can do that so we can make this optional to pass it only when um, the user is um, logged in all right so we can do if um, we are logged in auth guest you remember what auth guest is if we negate it it means if the user is logged in then we can we're doing this to um, avoid errors all right so we can only pass metadata if the user is logged in so we can now come here and say for instance we can say user underscore id or buyer id buyer user id buyer user id then we can work with um, the QR code of the currently logged in user I think I should remove this all right but what, what happens if the user is not logged in 
uh, that means we wouldn't know the user that is making the payment there's no how we're gonna tell the user that is making the payment which means we will have to ask this user their email so if we can just get the email of the user so before we close if you're getting this error then let us quickly fix it the error is saying um, it's pointing out like line 113 if we go to our form on um, QR code show blade, we go to the form, the pay stack form. Um, what's happening is here, we are using this curly bracelet inside or under curly bracelet. You never need to do that. Two um, such bracelets shouldn't be there. So we remove this from quotes, and that's how it should be. Once we refresh now, the error should be gone. So all right, uh, what we've noticed so far is that um, payment works well when you're logged in, but if a user is logged out, there's a problem. And um, the, even though the payment will work, we are not able to know which user made the payment. We can't. There's no way we can track the user because the user is logged out. You understand? So we need to um, be um, intuitive in the way we design this um, this uh, platform so that. Um, the user gets to tell us their email before they proceed to making payment. You understand? If they can tell us their email before they make a payment, then um, I believe everything will should work out well, which means after they have made the payment, we can use their email to get their user details and all so that we can record the transaction for them. I hope you understand. So we'll do that in the next video. We'll take out this button and um, redesign this place a little better. See you.